Hey, what's going on, party people? Welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we've got is Flame Toys, Kuro Kara Curry 03B, the Black Star Saber. So this is a San Diego Comic-Con 2020 exclusive. I'm actually not doing the normal thing that I do and just reviewing this late as hell because SDCC was obviously last summer, but no, 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 it's not on me this time. Just with COVID, manufacturing, and you know, I'm going to say Flame Toys doing Flame Toys things. It came late. So just shipped out to everybody this week. Uh, it's the third week of January 2021. And you know what? Absence makes the heart grow fonder because this was a very pleasant surprise. I forgot I'd even ordered one. Um, you can still get them. I got this from Bluefin. But you could also get them at site sponsor The Toy Source, and I'm sure other e-tailers that sell Transformers have them as well. I just don't know when they'll get them in stock, because Bluefin's the distributor, so obviously they got to ship to them first, so that they can ship to you, and blah, blah, blah. But, not gonna go over this one in depth, because we already went over Star Saber, and all it is, is a direct repaint. Alright, so, in his non-trans tector mode, because he does have two modes here, he is about eight, eight and a half inches tall. Okay. He's not going to change much height-wise, but the different head actually gives him, like, the antennas and stuff like that. The more traditional Star Saber that you're used to, like, on the instructions here. All right. So, since I have all of his accessories on the turn cell, I'll give you guys a quick roundabout. Really nice details. And you can see he's an actual bad guy. So, no Nucleon Quest to where it's just a dark version. And I love, I actually like his non-souped up mode more so than the more traditional transtector combined Star Saber. So basically, for those of you who don't know what a transtector is, this, this is Star Saber, but in, was it Victory that these guys were in? They had these things called transtectors that were like vehicles. So he had this big jet or whatever, and he could combine with the jet. The jet was a transtector, so... I don't know if there's an official name for the combined mode, but yeah, the traditional Star Saber that you're used to seeing with the wings and different head and stuff like that, that's when he's combined with that plane. Uh, I know he was in IDW Comics as well, so I don't know if he just was a jet former or if he actually had two separate like Star Saber and then the jet and things like that in the comics, uh, which this design veers more towards, but yeah, in the original Victory, that's how it worked. Okay, now looking over the accessories, hopefully you guys can see everything. It looks pretty good on my end, but let me know in the comments what you think of, like, the black on white and all that good stuff. But the turnstile's dark, so it might be hard to see, but he comes with a variety of different hands. Um, two sets of open hands, multiple gripping hands. These two um, were exclusive on the original release. These were the D4 Toys exclusives so that he could hold the exclusive rifle that it come with them, but this one, they all come with it. Now a little bit about this rifle. It does have some moving pieces on it. As well. Make sure it's focused there. And it also has the stand. I have to take some pictures of them in prone mode, maybe for the gallery and stuff like that. You don't really get an opportunity to do that with these figures. There's that. Make sure we're focused on the whole thing again. All right. Two blades. Focus again. So they are swords. And you can take them out like that. It's neat. And these do have that feature. Put that back in. Lock it into place. And this also becomes a blaster too. Oh. Okay. Alright, his main sword here, Star Saber. Now, this is pretty neat. I love that the swords have gimmicks. Really pretty stuff. Now, pieces like this are just additional flair for his transtector, the full-on combined mode. Really cool shield. Oh, 
I left his arm piece inside. There are just more pieces for him to get transformed or whatever into his other form. But it's hard to do here, but this piece does flip out so it can go like either on top or around, like that kind of stuff. And the rest of the stuff is just pieces for his, his full form. Now let's get to the back. Pretty important piece here. These are his wings. And well, you know what? We'll wait until I actually have him with the wings on to go over the modular pieces of the wings and stuff like that. This sword clip, it just unpegs. So you can have that be clean if you want. But yeah, again, sorry if it's too dark or anything like that. Just trying to figure out an organized way to go over the accessories without having to take the camera off of the stand and things like that. You got my hands shaking and stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. The alternate head. Does have a light-up gimmick. He has light-up gimmicks all throughout his body, and we'll go over that too. Okay, and before we even get going, get going on these guys, comparison to the original. I like the colors on both of them. And of course, in case it it's an appearance. The original is the one on the left. Black Star Saber. That's what we're reviewing. Let me raise this camera up some so you guys can actually see it from a more traditional perspective. But yeah, I think both of them kick a lot of butt. And okay. Given Black Star Saber, the solo tree in here. Now, just a quick rundown of the articulation on this guy. Um, the neck does have like a back and forth hinge, and then the head's on a ball joint. So, obviously, there's like armor on the sides and stuff like that. The head can. Let's see. I'm going to take it out here because it just removes like that. The head cannot do a 360. That's the limit. So it's not just the armor blocking it. Okay. Slide this business in. All right, so as for the shoulder pads themselves, we have some movement. Then when you get them down here, these flaps can move on the sides. Same with the front back does not. Outward. These things butterfly really good back and forth. 360. Biceps. And these are die cast figures. If it's not apparent. Mostly in the joints. All right. Single bicep. And I love that they have the elbow cover there. That follows it. Oh, the wrist. There is rock in the wrist. This piece is on the ball joint. So you have full rock always. These just peg in. Hold with friction, hold really well. Now the waist, he actually has multi-level side-to-side -side movement. Now technically the waist should be able to it has the ability to do the 360, but because of like the crotch plate, these front skirts and stuff, it cannot. Make sure he's still in focus there. All right. So back bend, not a ton, but ab crunch, definitely. All right. so the front skirts and back skirts both move. The there are sword holsters that go here, and these this can move up and down. All right. Outward, 
forward. And that's it for backwards because of where the hit hits. All right, thigh swivel. I'm not gonna push it. Knee bend, double join it. And if you look here, there are some moving pieces there in the knee. Pretty cool stuff. Now the ankles actually do drop down. So you have quite a bit of ankle tilt. Then backwards, forward rock, and the front of the foot. Now, as for gimmicks, he does have LEDs. The head. Slight switch. Now, all of these pieces are LR41 batteries. It wasn't too much, just a small screwdriver to get to the cover of each of them. Set. There's one in each shoulder as well. So, that's two covers here. Oh, boom. Boom. Might as well leave the covers off since you can't see them from the front anyway. Leg light switches. I found it easiest to remove these pieces by just taking a nail or a spudger. There's a little lip right there. You just pull them off. Boom. Boom. What? Boom. All right. So pretty bright. Let's see how it looks now. Pretty cool, right? And yeah, let's go ahead and get him into his fully transtected combined form. And okay, getting this guy gussied up here. First thing is obviously taking off the head. And then from there, I'll go ahead and do the arms first. These parts expand. And I can't lie, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know off top what's top, what's bottom, like that kind of thing. But I'm pretty sure... forearms this should be the top just by looking at it the way I'm judging is that I know there's something that pegs so these parts with the pegs I'm making sure that they're outwards so I didn't pull that down far enough apparently just making sure There we go. And then by default, these other ones have to be the bottom. Right. And then you've got these things that aren't side, side dependent. One side. There's two side. And there are pieces that go on the underside of the forearm as well. Or am I tracking this correctly? Yeah. Pegs up right there. Right. And believe it or not, that by far is the hardest part. These accent pieces that go on the shoulders, they just peg in.
leg guards. Kind of snap into place. And just so you know, you have to take off the leg guards to remove those uh, to remove those pieces to access the battery. So that's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Now you have an option with these. You could either put these claw type deals on his forearms or the shield. You have to choose one or the other. All right, and we'll look at the shield a little bit later. Get a swords holstered. And they just peg into those pieces on the sides. I do like that. I believe all of the Flame Toys figures so far have had these pieces on the side, even if they don't come with swords, for them to peg into. Giving you a lot of play options while using each other's weapons and this and that. The wing pack here. Make some room for it. Just clips into the back. And then the new head. Just goes in like so. Right. And voila. Now, for the sword to go into the holster, it has to be in that extended position at the handle. It reveals a... Uh, a tab, and then that tab fits in there. And you can do either side, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be flipped a certain way. And there we go. Black Star Saber in its full glory. Okay, so now that it's in its Transtector mode, or Transtector combined mode, just wanted to give you guys a comparison to the original release, just like we did with the non Transtector mode. Yeah. Really, really cool. When it comes to which color I personally prefer, honestly, it's tough. I really like the way that the way that this looks by default. I like the way that this one looks lit up a bit better. This one, it's imposing, man, but it's almost a little bit too dark, especially with the non-lit up eyes and things like that. It's just really, really dead. And I think, I can't say a lot of the detailing gets lost, but enough to make it significantly less than this guy right here. So, personal preference, just sitting on a shelf, not lit up. Of course, this guy. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and take a second just to get all these lights lit up and stuff like that. I don't want to sit here and disassemble them in front of you guys after we've already went through that and how it goes. But just so you can see how they get or look lit up together really quick. See how the backs look as well. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, and here we go. Make sure both are in focus and stuff like that. You got the Dark Star Saber. As well as the regular Star Saber. Next to each other all lit up. And like I said, this is just freaking evil. This is mean. This is imposing. This is everything when it's lit up, man. You can really see all those separate details and stuff like that. Where this one is still nice, but... It just doesn't give me that holy shit vibe of this one. Like, this one doesn't even look like real light to me. It looks like I added some kind of glow effect to it or something like that. It's in, it's insane. So, yeah. Overall, this one. But I definitely like the Black Star Saber. Uh, better lit up. Alright, and just giving you guys a roundabout. No real need to really go over the articulation again and stuff like that. I mean, give you guys a good solid look, and from there we can just go into some cool poses with it. Since the head is different, I'll give you guys a uh, measurement there. Now, to the top of the antennas, I've got about 9 inches on the dot. To the top of the uh, shoulder pads, I've got... I don't know how it goes. 
it, would it be nine and three eighths inches there? I believe so. And then from here, it's just under nine and a quarter. But this fin piece, or nine and a half, that fin piece goes back and forth. But yeah, different measurements. Of course, there's front. There's the back. You can, of course, unpack the sword. It has more of a clean look. Pick this guy back in. And so you can see how the wings work as well. And then these go outward too. But you've got those holsters here to work around. And honestly, not exactly my favorite wings. Just because of how broken up they are, but I mean, teach their own with that. It's a thing, just not my thing. There you go. Okay, and here he is utilizing the blaster function of his sword sheath. So the each of them has a handle inside of it. And it just flips down. Instructions will say it, but flips down and you can hold it as a blaster. I honestly think it's damn near just as neat as the the exclusive part. That's the exclusive rifle, however you want to put it. Don't really feel the need to do a back shot here, but I will go ahead and take the head off. Because it feels like, like I was saying earlier in the review, details just get lost without light on this guy. And his eyes are so darn dark that, yeah. up a little bit for you. I guess the light didn't even matter. There's that. Okay, and here he is holding the Star Saber. Pretty cool stuff. Should I rotate that there? Would that look a little bit better? We can see. Good stuff. Okay, and here he is using his flight stand. Got the open hand as well as the star saber there. Pretty cool stuff. The stand definitely holds it well. Uh, just plugs into his rear. And even with all these armaments and stuff like that, it's pretty goddamn poseable. It's really cool, really, really cool. And the amount of room, like even with stuff like the sheaths on the side and things like that, that you have, it's just really smart engineering. I, I gotta give credit to Flame Toys for what they've done here. In fact, let's go ahead and turn some lights on on this guy, finish it out here. And here he is all lit up, not gonna do any crazy rotations or any of that, I just wanted to show you. Much better, right? With the lights on and stuff like that. For whatever reason, it's what it takes to make this one pop. Can't say for whatever reason. I mean, it's just so dark that the details, like I said previously, get eaten up. Alright, and this has been, again, Flame Toys' 
Black Star Saber. Again, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. You could have ordered yours through Bluefin, but there are um, some retailers that still have them in stock. The Toy Source, my side sponsor, is of course one of them. So the link to that, TF Source, Toy Source, whatever you want to call it, sister companies, that link will be in my description as well as my Amazon store. I don't know if Amazon necessarily has these, but it has a bunch of cool stuff that I like as well. Check it all out. And as for this product, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Honestly, I highly recommend it. I have two more actually coming um, in stock. Not in stock, but to my collection. One is going to be to display both modes, both this and the Transtector mode. Um, as well as we're giving one away in our Facebook group, Mecha Maniac. So I'll link that in the description as well. And you guys should check them out. We do a lot of good stuff for our members and people really seem to like it. So it's our 2020 end of the year uh waffle not waffle but drawing so it's actually something for people that have participated in our contest and stuff like that throughout 2020 and this is just a free giveaway i paid for it out of pocket and i'm gonna give it to somebody pretty cool well somebody random but everybody in our group's cool but again that link will be in the description too check that out like share subscribe full written article and gallery will be up on kumbastyle.com sooner than later. That'll be linked to. I'll see y'all later. Have fun. Stay safe.